Now, I'm guessing as well, another problem is when you're brought late onto a project and they're saying, can you just get this done? Um, mo- most composers don't have the luxury that uh, Chris Nolan purports to offer, which is, uh, Chris Nolan says he doesn't use temp music. I'm guessing when you're yeah. brought on late, the whole thing is just saturated with temp and they're saying, yeah. just do these things. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of times they don't, they don't say just do these things. They think they're open to like having your creative voice in there, but then you start doing something and it's, they're so used to hearing the other one that they're like, yeah, but the temp used to, I'm not wanting you to copy the temp, but the temp used to do this. Is there a way to, so you have to find the elements, try to find the elements that they love about the temp or that they got used to in the, in the temp and try to incorporate that without moving as close as possible to the track, you know, because otherwise it's just a pastiche. They pulled like music from, 10 different movies and put it every, everything in the, and all of a sudden if you start copying every, not only you're going to get sued and you're not going to have your signature or your voice in there, but, but it's going to become like a mishmash of different things. So it's, it always, it, it's a, but I, I'd say most of the times the filmmakers bring you in with hopes of like, no, I, I want you to do something new. I don't want you to copy that, but it's just natural. They get so used to hearing that music behind that, seen that sometimes it's tough to introduce something new and to that's why i always say keep it in there listen to it for a couple of days yep if if i have that relationship to tell the director leave it in the cut just watch with it for a couple of days see what you if you if it grows on you if it doesn't we'll do something new but i think it's the right thing for this scene usually if it's like a a good good director a guy who's been working in this industry for a while and he's telling you no, and you don't have a previous relationship with him. You don't just push, but you do a few a few versions until he's happy. But if you have a, a working relationship and you're able to say, I, I think it's the right one. Can we keep it in there just so you? And some a lot of times they, they it grows on them. A lot of times you still have to to redo it. But at least it gets that temp out of the way, and then they maybe can open and start thinking about other things. So when you introduce a third piece they will be more open to it than just being glued to that, to the original temp. You know, that they, and the, pro- the, in there. the process of trying to help them get unstuck from the temp is really interesting and sounds quite familiar. Um, it, uh, recently I produced a record for an artist and of course you're working with these mo- uh, demo mixes the whole time. Very rough and I'm no mix engineer yeah. so you kind of got an idea of it. And I send it to my guy in the Ch- Czech Republic he's a great pop uh, pop mixer comes back and the first experience is always ooh, I don't know, it sounds different. I, and even yeah. though the other one was bad, I'm used to it. And so it sounds like you do a similar thing which is we yeah. say th- three listens. First one is a palate cleanser. Second one yeah. you start to notice stuff and then the third one you're actually listening to it. Yeah. Yeah. Even, I mean, we're all, we're all like, I think it's a human thing, right? Like I said, a lot of times we record the orchestra and then afterwards they're like, Oh, it sounds different. I like the, the, the demo better. And it's like, no, Mm -hmm. it's just getting used to change. You know, I think humans are, have a hard time getting used to, to change or to, or to something new. And my wife always says when she buys a new piece of furniture or something new and I get in the house, Oh, I don't like it. She's like, you just don't like change. Wait, you you like it in a couple of days. And it's, it's true. I guess it's our, our nature. It's, and then we, as we get used to, or as we learn that that's the way we are, we also start trying to, to, to act differently. But I do that all the time. I usually write, I'll write, let's say two pieces of music in, in two scenes in one day and then I just go away from it. And then the next day I come in the morning. First time, first thing I do is take a listen and see if I still had the same feelings I had about it the previous day. And a lot of times it's like, oh no, I need to change this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. Or, oh no, this is wrong altogether. Or yeah, great, this is perfect. But it's like, it's always important to try to take some time, especially when you're producing a lot and doing a lot of music in a short amount of time to like listen again before you send out and say, yeah, I think, I think this is, this is right. 